Hey, Pete Talks Tech here. And in today's video, we'll be looking at the top three first impressions of the eagerly anticipated Logic Pro for iPad that released just hours ago on Tuesday, May 23rd. So many of us music creators and producers have been so looking forward to this day, as although GarageBand is okay as a bit of a musical sketch pad to put ideas into, it is just too limiting for many people, and also had that weird section thing going on which was difficult to get used to. The Mac version of Logic Pro is used by many of the top producers in the world like Calvin Harris. So now that it's available on the iPad and will offer much more comprehensive feature packed offering over the basic GarageBand is so exciting. So without further ado, let's get into it. first impression that you have as soon as you load up the app is just how slick Logic Pro for iPad is in that very typical Apple way. I'm sure that you've read by now that it is subscription based and you can't even start the app without signing up but fortunately it does offer one month free which is great to try out and you can always cancel if it's just not your thing. But even though some people have had a negative review of the subscription model, many people do agree that just $5 or pounds per month to have such a pro app is pretty good value. Another first impression that is easy to see is that Apple have made very few sacrifices in transporting the full version over to this iPad version with a vast array of instrument patches available such as you can see here with these electric pianos, clavs and organs. And it's just so great to finally see a full on pro mixer. Plus so many audio effects on offer such as a tuner and loudness meter in the metering section, different types of EQ, an assortment of distortion types along with delay designer and tape delay. One of the things that does take a bit of getting used to is the touch interface, especially the middle bar that you swipe up and down to navigate to the various upper and lower sections of the interface. But I'm sure that this will become a lot more instinctive in time and practice. The vocal effects in GarageBand were extremely basic and so it's amazing to see here in Logic Pro a great selection of over 20 to choose from including something like the modern air setting which already sounds great before any tweaking is needed. There's many fantastic bass instruments on offer and also a super awesome feature of this iPad version is the all filters selection page where you can really narrow down the exact type of instrument sound that you're looking for which will be a massive help. Just like GarageBand for iPad, having a virtual touch keyboard you can play anywhere so you don't need to plug in a MIDI external keyboard will enable us to capture those great musical riffs and ideas so easily. And Logic Pro extends to three full on rows of keys which is insane. I must admit on a smaller iPad like the Mini that this could potentially get a bit squished but if you're fortunate to have a larger 12.9 iPad Pro like I do then this is just so much fun to play. And the final first impression is that everything just is so much more intuitive using the touch interface compared to using a mouse on Logic for the Mac. From the left and right panning dials to really pinpointing exact frequencies in EQ sections and getting exact values in all of the dials and controls within each effect. Another thing that wasn't immediately obvious and will take some time to get used to is to go into a particular effect from the blue button in the mixer you have to click on show details and that will then bring up all of the advanced controls relating to that particular effect. So overall I'd say that this version 1 of Logic Pro for iPad is superb. You can really tell that Apple have put so much thought, effort and hard work into this 
particularly around the touch aspects of the interface with Apple promising regular updates and adding features over these next few months and years to come. Whether you're an aspiring musician or music producer starting right at the beginning, or you're much more experienced and require a robust, feature-packed digital audio workstation, then I'm sure you'll fall in love with Logic Pro for iPad. And I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. What are your early thoughts about Logic Pro for iPad? And what missing features like support for third-party plugins are you looking for Apple to include in an upcoming update? Well, that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already to help us on our way to our next milestone of 500 subscribers. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.